Hi, since we posted our van tour video, we've had some questions about what we use for power inside Vandal. What we use to power the fridge and the lights and the fan and so on. So although we're parked here for the winter, you can come on inside and I hope to give you some answers to those questions. We wanted a separate system from the van battery so that in the morning we would still be able to start the van after using the lights and fridge and so on at night. On the market there are solar generators, which aren't really solar generators. They're batteries with all of the uh, inputs and outputs that you need, including a solar input to charge them. And so we chose this particular model, the Jackery 500, uh, because we thought it would be big enough to give us two days worth of operation when we couldn't, uh, two days where we couldn't charge it, that is. So it charges in three different ways, from the sun through a solar panel, from the car battery while you're driving around, or from an AC plug. It has uh, an output section for powering different things in the van, and then a single input where you uh, plug in one of those three power sources I just mentioned. Here's how we use the power out of the Jackery. This section here is a normal 120 volt uh, pure sine inverter, useful for powering CPAP machines if you have them. We use it for our laptop charger that takes 60 to 80 watts. USB is for charging phones and other USB powered devices. And this last section is where we get the power for everything else. 12 volts comes out of this. And we use this um, device at Canadian Tire that comes with two outlets, so it's a splitter and it provides two power ports. We use this one for our fridge. This one I cut off and the wire then goes in to feed the 12 volts to the rest of the uh, system. So when we're parked at night, I have the fridge wire here that plugs in here and powers the fridge. And the rest of it is feeding the fan and lights and so on in the, in the van. Here are our reading lights. One click for blue for a night light and a second click for a reading light, and we have two of those installed in the van. Directly above Catherine, our photographer, we have a fantastic roof fan that we can use to blow air into the van or pull air out of the van. And we typically run that overnight, which keeps any condensation from uh, us being in here all night pulled out of the van. And the other thing you can see up there is the little LED pot lights that we use. The other item that we power from the 12 volts is this Alpi Cool 23 quart compressor fridge. You can set whatever temperature you'd like, including below zero, so that it can be freezing. And it's been a very reliable and a great fridge. That's what the inside of it looks like. It even comes with its own little light that's shining down here. And its own little ice maker that sits on the side. So you can have a fridge here and a tray of ice cubes to keep the beverages cold. So here's how we knew that the Jackery 500 should be enough power for us. Our lights use about 10 watts and we run them for about four hours a day. So that needs a total of 40 watt hours each day. Our fridge uses about 35 watts that we're going to run 24 hours a day when we're parked and boondocking. But when the fridge is plugged in, it doesn't always run. It only runs about 20% of the time. So when you do that, you need 168 watt hours every day. So if you want a system that will last for two days, you add these up and you get 208 watt hours per day. which means we should have enough power for two days at least. And when we're careful with power, we found we can last slightly longer than that. So that's how we figured out the 500 should be enough. The problem with Jackery is they only provide two cords to charge the unit when really you need three. What's missing from this picture? It's the solar charger. So this one is for uh, charging for when you're at home or at a campground with 120 volts. And this one is for charging from your uh, cigarette lighter in your vehicle. And the solar one is missing. So <clears throat> what I did uh, to get around that was put a connector into the middle of this one. This, these are XT60 connectors and they just pull apart. Now I'm able to take this and when I'm not charging from the car, I can plug 
this is my, f coming from my solar panel and I can plug that in and now I have a cord that I can plug into the jackery and connect my solar system with. So here we are ready to charge the jackery with my converted solar cord. Plug it into the input section and the blue light tells you that you're getting something but in this case we're only getting zero watts because the solar panels inside and it's a dark dull gray day here in December. What we should be getting on a bright sunny day is 60 watts roughly. That's as even though we have a hundred watt panel um, the Jackery 500 is limited to taking 60 watts from solar. If we had it plugged into the car we'd be getting 40 watts and if we pl had it plugged into the home at 120 volts uh, we'd be getting 80 watts. When we're driving we have the Jackery plugged into the cigarette outlet in the van as well as the fridge. We have two outlets, we're lucky. But you can get one of these splitters and do, do the same thing in a car or another vehicle. Um, so that's how the fridge runs and the Jackery gets charged. And then when we're parked it's in this configuration here where we're hopefully getting some output from the sun and powering everything else from this 12 volts. In fact, we've only had twice that we didn't have enough power for a couple of days from our solar panel. And that was on Vancouver Island where it rained uh, for several days. So we pulled into a campground and uh, paid for the electrical hookup there and got everything charged back up. Overall, we're very happy with the Jackery 500 and would recommend it. Hope that's answered some of your questions.